Hi everybody, Tom Guile with the Guile Group. Hey, as uh, 2021 winds down to an end here, uh, what gonna break out that crystal ball and look at some projections for 2022. But before I dive into that, um, let's take a look at it. I'm going to lay a little groundwork here. Uh, last week in Portland, the median home price was $544,000. That's up about 11% from a year ago. And that median price has really been bouncing around anywhere from about $540,000 to about $575,000. Uh, taking a look at interest rates, uh, last week they're running about 3.1% for a 30-year fixed loan. Uh, you can see that's up a little bit uh, from where it was at in the summer, but you know, still, still low, relatively speaking. Um, I think kind of the, the big piece of the puzzle here in Portland is inventory, and we have struggled to get above that month's worth of inventory here in Portland. November, it ticked back down a 0.8 uh, month's worth of inventory, so we're just seeing really low inventory across the metro area as we wind down 2021 and get into 2022. And I think all these factors are going to come into play of what 2022 is going to look like. And uh, the quote here from uh, uh, George Ratu from Realtor.com uh, uh, really sums up a lot of the expectations for 2022. You know, we expect the winter to be busier than historically it is because there is seasonality in our market. Uh, we're carrying that into 2022. We also expect uh, you know more homeowners to put their homes on the market and bring off and get some relief, some pressure uh, on these high prices that. Uh, buyers are seeing and giving buyers more options. So taking a look at the 2022 projections, uh, they're ranging anywhere from 2.8% uh, appreciation, that's from the National Association of Realtors, up to 7.4% uh, from uh, Fannie Mae. And like I said, I'm, I'm hedging a little bit on here, and I think Portland's going to remain just kind of on the high side because our inventory is so low, and it is going to take a little time to get enough listings in the pipeline to really start making a difference and getting some relief. Uh, interest rates, uh, this projections, like I said, we're at about 2. Point, excuse me, about 3.1 percent right now. Uh, we're not expecting anything super drastic to happen in 2022, but those rates are projected to go up uh, probably to about 3.7 percent uh, by the end of the year. That's still going to be lower than what we're seeing in the, about uh, 2019. But um, you know, we're going to see about a little over half a point increase, which is going to you know it, it adds up. So all these numbers, you know, it's kind of hard to make some sense out of them. So what I've done here is just laid out a, a simple uh, scenario where you can see based on some of these averages that we have um, what this really means to the bottom line for both buyers and sellers so if we take a look at uh, our assumptions we're going to use this the current uh, median home price we're going to use a 30-year loan uh, appreciation of 5.2 percent uh, current interest rates that then uh, 3.1 and uh, that uh, increase in the interest rates of about 0.6 percent let's figure out what this really looks like if you're buying home today if you're buying a home in six months or if you're buying a home a year from now um, so if you bought that home today um, your payment's going to be about uh, 2241 dollars um, you know but a lot of times people decide hey i want to wait i want to you know, save up some money or maybe i want to ride out the market and see what's going to happen well here's a couple different scenarios if you wait six months that home that's $544,000 today is probably going to be around $556,000. Um, your payment is actually going to go up by about $115 a month uh, to $2,357. If you wait 12 months, that house is now going to be about $570,000. Uh, that payment is going to be uh, over $2,500. Um, up about $269 from what you would be paying if you bought it in January. Uh, I also you know, hear a lot, hey, I'm going to save some money. Well, let's, let's look at what happens if you're actually able to save $1,000 a month and apply that money uh, a year from now and then apply an additional $12,000 to your down payment. The price still goes up. You can't save fast enough in the market that we're in right now. Uh, that price would still go up about $214 a month. So I'm just trying to tie a little bit of reality into these numbers because sometimes it's easy to kind of get lost in the numbers and just kind of doing a little bit of grounding here. So I hope you found this information useful. I uh, would love to talk to you more about the market or your home. So if you have questions, reach out to us on social media uh, or give us a call or shoot us an email at askguilegroup at guilegroup.com. We'd love to hear from you.